What's happening? I'm going to be showing you guys my engineering transcript. Uh, because... Just because? I don't know. It's not very good. And I'm a little nervous. By the way, I'm a mechanical engineer. So I'm going to explain a little bit about each course. Maybe... Let's do it. So I started in 2007. I got into sciences the first year because I didn't manage to get into engineering out of high school. Ah! Okay. First year university is a shock. Classes are huge. You go from in high school where you're with like 20, 30 students maybe, and all of a sudden you're you're in classes of like 300 students. It's just super intense. Professors are going like super fast and you're just basically the whole class, you're just to, 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 to taking notes. So yeah, that's my excuse for, for, for chemistry. Next we got, oh, okay. Off to a good start here. I didn't realize in, in my first year that you don't have to take English if you're going into engineering because engineering has a, they have basically an English for dummies. So I took, I took like the regular basic English and it was, it was brutal. I remember like a couple months in we had to, we had an essay that we had to write. And so I go and get my essay from my professor and she wrote in bright red letters, please see me ASAP. And then I dropped out. There we go, B plus, calculus. I, I love calculus. I took it in high school and I recommend that you do take it if you're in high school. Uh, but basically math 114, it's just a repeat of what you learned in high school. Let's see, Al linear algebra. Linear algebra, hey, let's go, baby. I struggled so hard with this class and somehow ended up with an A. I don't remember anything about linear algebra, but hey, I'll take it. And then physics. Yeah, C+. Plus. This is the first kind of physics class that you learn. It's kind of uh, a continuation of what you learn in high school. A lot of like dynamics, you know, you learn about projectiles. This is disappointing because I actually didn't get credit for the engineer. I had to repeat this course in order to get credit for it in engineering. All right, let's keep going here. Next term. Chemistry, Eng. I don't remember what this Eng 130 is. I have no idea. Maybe it was like statics. This. This was probably, probably my proudest moment. We went into the midterm. I remember we studied all night. We pulled an all-nighter, me and my buddy Nardine. Shout out Nardine. I love you. I don't know where you are. We take the midterm. I remember walking out. I'm like, I did pretty well in the midterm. We get it back. The next day, he's had it all the midterms and he, he doesn't give me mine. Like, I'm like the only one who doesn't get it. So I go to him after class. I'm like, professor, I, I, I didn't get my midterm. And so he, he pulls it out of his drawer and he's like, I saved this for you. <laughs> and I got a hundred and it was, it was just, it was, it was great. The average was 59. Yeah. So I was pretty happy with that. So just, just to tell you guys a bit of how university grading works, you're graded, uh, you're graded on a curve. You're, you're graded basically relative to your peers. So let's say you have 50 students in a class. The average mark in that class is like 70 and you get 70, you're getting a B. It doesn't matter if the average is 60 or if the average is 90. If you're average relative to your peers, you're getting a B. So I get into engineering in second year, uh, credit in whatever courses I needed. Econ, mechanics, C++, okay. So econ, I think this was an option. Like you, in energy, you have to take uh, a certain amount of options. I I think econ was one that I chose. Uh, and phys, this is basically repeating physics uh, 144. C++. I do not like C++. I don't know anything about coding. I hate coding. I have no desire to learn coding. Um, yeah. And then calculus part three. This is the last calculus course that we had to take. It's kind of a shame. I think if you're an electrical, you do have to continue with calculus, but man, I, I love calculus. I'm a nerd. Uh, anthropology, another option I had no interest in. C++. B minus. This is the introduction to, this is a thermodynamics course. I know a lot about thermodynamics now because that's part of my job. Another econ class. Yeah, <laughs> it's not going to be pretty guys. I told you. Engineering mechanics too. It's a lot of like collisions. You learn about uh, inertia, rotating bodies, vibrations. All right. I should have done better this because this, this is the kind of physics that I really love. The dynamics and, and stuff. Oh, well. Electricity and magnetism. Didn't really care for this. Y'all were expecting some 4.0s. <laughs> You're sorely disappointed. Okay, so this is where this is this is like civi course. The four main disciplines: Meki, civi, uh, ee, and chemi. And so, as as a mechanical engineer, you take one of each of those courses. So you you also notice here this is the amount of units for each class. So some some courses, depending on what your program is, are worth more than others. So you can see here the civi class because mechanical engineers obviously you need to know statics. It's worth quite a bit. 
Um, whereas the E is not worth as much. What's next? Oh, Matt 300. Oh. 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 This is differential equations part two. And this is the last math course that we had to take. It was probably the worst. I think it was probably the worst course that I took in my, my whole curriculum. Somehow I managed to get a B, which is really hard because after, okay, by the time you get into third year, that's when you've basically weeded out all of the ones who couldn't make it. And you're left with some pretty smart people. So if I was able to to get average, and then not to say that I aim to be an average student, but if I was able to, to get an average mark, I was pretty happy. Statistics, yeah, this is, I guess, a, a mandatory class, which is why it's worth so much. Winter, all right, another B minus. Mechanical measurements this is where you learn about instruments. Uh, which is important. Calipers. Other instruments. Gauges. Pressure gauges. Boy, I'm doing a good job explaining these courses now. Fluid mechanics. Here we go. Here we go. This... Ah, God, all these bees. Fluid mechanics uh, is probably my favorite, my favorite course. You learn about fluids, how fluids flow, how to design, let's say, a heating system, HVAC, heat transfer. I like to see that B+, plus, baby. We're aiming high. Now it gets ugly. I'm gonna preface this by saying I had gotten really into poker during, I guess, my second and third year. And I actually managed to not work and I just played poker and that's how I made money. And I wanted to just get better and better at it. But at this point, it it became, it was bad. It took over my, my schooling and you'll see it reflected in my grades. Engineering management, don't really remember it. This is like the English for dummies. I'm happy with a C, I don't really care for this one. Oh, it's not looking great. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, no. oh. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know. I've already seen this. I know they're, they're F, they're F, they look so bad. Mechanical design. This is the first kind of hands-on course where you have a project, you have a hands-on project. And I didn't show up to anything. I didn't care. Uh, I, we had a, a very, very good group with me and three other guys and, and there was no me, I was not there. And so I didn't get credit for it at all. And then 265, that's the introduction to to drawings, right? To solid work. So 2D modeling, 3D modeling. And I, I just, again, I, I, I bombed this. I did not put any effort into these classes. This is not indicative of how difficult it is. These, these classes are not that hard, to be honest. I just, like I said, I just didn't show up. Ooh, solid one. <laughs> this is bad. This is bad. Next term wasn't much better. Okay, so I have to repeat these courses. I scraped by engineering grad. I get a scrape by that. Applied thermodynamics. Okay, so... Oh, God. That D. Mechanics and machines, I was AWOL in this, this class. I never went to this class. I remember very lucky to get a D. I don't know, disappointing. You gotta apply yourself. And Mechie 390, I guess, I don't I don't remember this one. Um, boundary layer, differential equations, initial value. Yeah, draw a blank here. Uh, yeah, so not very good. May continue. So this is, I got put on academic warning. Basically means you have to get a 2.0 in the next term or you're out. All right, here we go. Accounting, B. Finance, B. Mechanical design, A minus. What hell? Very, hey, things are looking good. 403, okay. It's actually a lot of lab courses. I, I don't really remember them there being that many. One more A minus. Look at that. That is a nice looking, That that is that is nice to see. 3.3, smash that 2.0, smashed it. What's next? Bring it on. Engineering, this is just a credit course. Materials, this is an option. It's a pretty easy course. Mechie 380, this is a, I believe this is a statics course. This is like, a, this is like the final statics course that you take. And then, okay, fluid dynamics. Oh no, sorry, CFD. So computational fluid dynamics, that is basically a numerical modeling course. If you're looking at something like an airplane, you want to know what, let's say the airflow is going to look like around it. You want to know at what points are going to have to see the highest stress. It's not a single body, right? There's, there's multiple components to it. You have to do some sort of numerical analysis. We do use it in our work to add analyze, um, for example, temperature gradients around uh, an object. We're getting close to the end here. Pretty nice 3.1.
What's next? Feedback control. I told you guys I wasn't good at anything to do with programming. I just don't like it. But this is actually kind of an important course. Like when we, we designed a, uh, a ventilator at our work, we contracted uh, guys who were electrical engineers who, who know a lot more about this. And I kind of learned a little bit about feedback control. It is pretty important. Uh, fluid and fluid mechanics, again, fluid mechanics, my favorite course. And the reason why it's my favorite course is because at the end of this course, we started to learn about supersonic flow. And to me, that was the most interesting part of my whole curriculum. Because the really interesting thing about supersonic flow, which is basically flow traveling faster than the, than the speed of sound, is how all the formulas are basically reversed. For example, as you constrict the area of, let's say, a pipe and you have water running through it, the flow actually gets faster. But when you exceed that speed of sound, in order to accelerate it faster, that flow actually has to expand. It's super fascinating. And the fact that today I'm actually in a job where eventually we're going to be designing nozzles and stuff, and we actually have done some really, really tiny nozzles, supersonic nozzles. That to me is fascinating. I loved it. I loved it. So this is, this is basically your final this is basically your final major project as an engine so this project was kind of cool we had a guy come in who had this patent for a rolling scaffold his idea was you know you're working on uh one part of a house or whatever and you want to move to another part instead of like getting off and then physically moving the scaffold he had like a bike he had like pedals that were attached to the scaffold. I think we kind of gave it like a tighter turning radius. We kind of designed it sort of like a forklift where it had rear wheel drive instead of front wheel drive. And uh, yeah, just a lot of fun. And then at the end, and then at the end of the term, you, you, you give a presentation and you answer questions. This was really cool. Uh, looking back, it was, it was, it was, it was pretty cool. Yeah. The mechanical is fun, man. <coughs> What's going on here? This is a lot of heat exchangers in this class. And it's funny because because uh, we work with heat exchangers today. <laughs> we had one big project in this course, and I just can never get my head around it. I don't know. I really struggle with uh, the heat exchangers uh, in school. And then my last course, C plus. Funny, funny enough, the person who taught this course uh, actually works with us today, and he's kind of like a mentor of mine. So yeah, that was my that was my curriculum, guys. If I were to go back, I wish I tried a little bit harder i wish i focused a bit more again that third year I, I literally never went to class all i wanted to do was play poker and um and i you, you can't you can't do that you can't half-ass it you have to enjoy engineering because these these are challenging courses but uh man some of them are so so interesting and uh i love mechie i seriously love it thank you guys for watching this is a hell of a lot of fun to make honestly uh so hit that subscribe button uh if you want more content follow me on socials too for no other reason than I want more followers. <laughs> Leave me a comment. Let me know if you have any questions. We'll keep it up. We'll keep it going. Thank you guys for watching. I love you. See you next time. Peace.